everyone and welcome back i hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day or if you've just stumbled across this video because you've typed in primark haul or it's come up on your front page or whatever it is nowadays then hi my name is kate and i make videos like this all the time primark hauls fashion hauls lifestyle interior design videos that kind of thing so if that sounds like the stuff that you generally watch i would love for you to subscribe the button's just down there and you can go and check out the rest of the content that i make as well today's video is obviously going to be a primark haul i feel like i haven't been in there for a while but it's probably been about a month let's be fair um and i wanted to do a little challenge today to see what I could get for under £100. So this bag contains everything and I've also done cutaways where I've styled up one or two of the pieces with a few of my other items of clothing or accessories that I already have um, just to show you how I would probably wear that piece or that outfit. So if any of the items that aren't from the Primark haul are still in stock I will link them below if I can find them online for you. So now I've said all that I'm just going to get straight into it. So the first item I tried on and styled up was this dress. I really really liked it in the shop and I think it also comes in a rust colour. It looks like this. So it's really pretty, it's this mustard yellow and it has lots of lovely cut out broidery on glay um, detailing on the front. It also has these lovely buttons. I love like these covered buttons, they're the same as the rest of the dress and they go quite far down. I think that looks really really beautiful. Um, and then the back's really nice as well, it ties up as you can see so that's great for all different boob sizes because you can tie it really tight or a little bit looser and it still fits and feels quite comfortable so I really liked that about it um, I didn't particularly love the way the bottom of it looks I just didn't feel like it fell right it looked a bit lumpy at the seams on the edges um, and it does look a little bit weird with this slit as well it almost looks like it's a jumpsuit that you have on but it's not but this would make such a nice jumpsuit but anyway I really like it, um, it's probably not my favourite piece from the whole haul, but it was, how much was it, £18, which I feel for Primark is also quite a lot, um, but yeah, I like it and it would definitely be a nice one to try on for a summer holiday if you have one coming up. So next I tried on this teeny tiny crop top, um, I really loved this because of the animal print I felt like the muted beige background looked really nice um, and although it's really small I do like wearing crop tops with high-waisted shorts and jeans and trousers like a jacket over the top like I've styled it with here um, and if they're long enough you can tuck them into the high-waisted bottoms that you're wearing so it doesn't really you don't ever feel like you have to show your stomach if you don't want to this one is particularly short I maybe should have got a little a, a few sizes bigger or you know it just is meant to be worn as a crop top it would look gorgeous on holiday or if you're you know that bit more confident to wear something like this but I do really like it I just wish it was very slightly longer um it was only three pounds and yeah I just thought it was really cute so I also teamed that with the rest of the outfit the other piece in that cutaway that's from Primark was this bag which I absolutely love I don't very often buy bags from Primark um, but I saw this and I really liked it and I wanted to buy a few things in this little under a hundred pounds challenge that you know wasn't it wasn't just clothing so I have a few accessories in here it has this gold chain um, and it's just a very simple really versatile um, nude sort of mock crock with gold hardware and then it still has a little bit of paper inside but it's actually more spacious than you would think you would definitely fit like your phone in there so there's my phone you can see how much more room you have so you'd fit your purse in there your phone and keys and some makeup I think this might be just really nice to have it's a handy one because it will go with so much so many different things good for a wedding bag or an evening bag um, and this one cost six pounds bargain so next up i have this really cute square necked jumpsuit so it goes probably down to sort of ankle the legs are cropped and it has this really beautiful ditzy print which is quite different it's got a navy blue background so i feel like this is a sneaky one that could probably take you into autumn i like the neck on it again because i am lacking in the boob department um it wasn't as comfortable to wear it was a little bit it felt a little bit gapy and big 
but I think for most people it would be absolutely fine. Um, it has a tie waist, which I actually tie at the back. I think you're meant to tie them to the side or the front, but I just like it to look smooth, so I tie it at the back. I've already worn this up to London for a meeting for most of the day, most of the morning, um, and was really comfortable in it, apart from the top, but I find that a lot with tops. Um, so anyway, I really, really like this. And this was £15, and I styled it with some trainers so I've mentioned these before in a Primark haul they're just very simple obviously non-branded lightweight white trainers I really love when my trainers are really white um, so sometimes I do like to just buy a cheaper pair and I end up wearing them when they're not as white anymore I just wear them on the school run until they kind of wear out I do I am starting to get more into branded trainers and slightly more expensive ones but for a long time I never wore trainers at all so I like to have you know I don't like to go crazy on them these are 10 pounds so a really good price point and with things like jumpsuits and that I think they look really cool so I like those a lot Next up, I styled up this outfit, so one of the items in it were these mum shorts, mum jean shorts. Um, these are really nice, they're a great style, a great cut. Um, I got them in a six, and I feel like, just personally for me, they're a little bit short, like only a tiny bit too short. I'd like them to be a little bit longer, but they're not like bum, they're not like showing your bum, so they're, they're fine. They fit really nicely, they're so comfortable, perfect for all of summer holidays, you could literally just live in them. So, how much were they? They were £10. And I paired that with this little blouse. Um, I'm always on the lookout for linen blouses, white shirts, because, again, they're really great. They're really good basics. You can wear them with anything. It has two pockets on the front, which are real. Um, they're not fake. And tortoiseshell buttons. They seem to be on literally everything still. Um, the only thing I don't really love about it is it doesn't feel the nicest quality feels a little bit like a cheap tablecloth or something it's made of viscose and polyester um, and that's not knocking Primark because I have some linen-y things from there that feel lovely obviously this isn't linen it's just that look but it's it's quite a scratchy material and quite see-through um, but it was £12 and I think it looks really nice on so I will definitely be keeping this I forgot to say with the mum jeans I was wearing this brown belt um, it's got gold hardware which I really like because I'm all about the gold jewellery and like hardware so really like that. This is actually a small and it's so far off fitting me properly I had to kind of cheat it for the cutaway. I need it kind of cut here which is a bit ridiculous for a small. I'm not that small and they cast smaller 6 to 8 so that should definitely fit me. Like I said, it was £2, looks really nice with the jeans, just add something else to them. So I may just have to pop in a little hole myself. Um, but yeah, that, that's the belt that I wore with the jeans. And then these are the shoes that I was wearing with that outfit. I don't think I've ever filmed a video where my legs have been this pale before. <laughs> um, but anyway, I didn't love these. Obviously, they are quite clearly meant to be a dupe of the Chanel espadrilles. They have that look to them. These are more of a flat form, so they do give you that bit of extra height. Um, but I found these to be a bit too wide and a bit too big for me, even though they're my size. So they probably will go back, unfortunately. But that's not to say they wouldn't fit somebody else. I just found them. If you can size down, then that's probably they probably would fit you really well. But three is the smallest they do. So that's really frustrating for me. They were only £6, so could be a nice summer option for some of you guys. It was hiding at the bottom, um, but with the Ditsy Print jumpsuit... I styled it with this bag. Yes, I have another bag from Primark. Um, so I just thought this was really cute. I loved the colour of it. Again, it's got that mock snake skin um, look to it. It's got a pocket on the front, which is nice. And then obviously the main bag here. And this was eight pounds. And then for the next outfit, the only piece from Primark that I styled in that one was this little top. I love this outfit. I think it looks so nice. This was actually from the girls section. I think I got a size 13 to 14 years and I think that works out to roughly about a 6 or an 8 adult size, adult women's size. I'm not sure. But I just thought it was really nice. Um, I like the off the shoulder detail, the cold shoulder detail. And I usually wear my hair like over these straps so it kind of looks 
off shoulder bardo style anyway but you don't have to worry about it falling down and it has this little tie detail which I don't personally like I usually undo it and then tuck that into something but I think it's quite a young detail um which obviously works great because this is from the girls section so it should be like that um, but I usually tuck things like this in and this was six pounds so yes I was really pleased with that as well so that's everything that I got and styled up and the grand total for all of this came to 96 pounds so I was four pounds under I honestly thought I'd gone over when I went to the till um I must have added something up wrong and then I was four pounds under so I was really really pleased um I think that's a lot of stuff and a lot of outfits that you can create for under a hundred pounds um so if you like this video and you'd like me to do more videos just like this then please give it a big thumbs up and as i said in the beginning if you haven't already hit that subscribe button i would be so so happy if you did that today make it today the day make today the day make today the day <laughs> anyway i'm gonna go now thank you so much for watching everyone and i will see you in my next video bye guys